Hello everyone! I decided to produce a series of anti-aging videos to help you to be aware of the beauty industry. So I want to talk about non-surgical procedures that can help you like to look good and uh, and to fight the clock, okay? But I don't want you to. I want. I don't want you to become a victim on, in, in the hands of a doctors and nurses because it's a multi-billion-dollar industry anti-aging. So I want to help you to be aware and defend yourself and know what you need, okay, in order to look better, okay? And look yourself. The most important thing to look yourself, but only better, okay? You don't want to change your whole face features because. That's what happened today. It's a lot of money. They can make a lot of money so they can sell you, you know, a lot of things that you don't need and you start like, it's a lot of money you're putting in, in the doctor's office and you become like, you became a victim of them and then you just start losing who you are and you don't want that because beauty is improving your unique appearance, all right? That's what beauty is. It's not changing who you are right and become a character right so we need to avoid that so in this video we're going to be talking about injectables and non-surgical procedures like injectables is the fastest growing um growing procedure non-surgical procedure in the beauty industry today guys and we're going to be talking about uh, botox versus fillers and you can have like an instant facelift with fillers, okay? Uh, but less is always more, okay? Less is more. So um, what is the difference between Botox and fillers? Well, Botox, guys, is a botulinum toxin, okay? It's a bacteria, it's a type A of bacteria that is injected into the muscles, okay? And what causes is it paralyze the muscles, which the doctor doesn't like to use the word paralyze. They say it's going to freeze the muscles, it's going to relax, it's relaxing the muscles, but the reality of the fact is, this in the science is, is a type A of a bacteria that's injected, in, injected to your muscles and that is going to paralyze temporarily the muscles, but people freak, they freak out when you say paralyze, so they use a beautiful term which is relax the muscles of the face and I love Botox guys but less is more okay just be aware that less is more so Botox usually uh, they inject in the forehead of your face so usually isn't the glabella they call glabella is the 11 also the 11 when you have the in between the two eyebrows so you have the uh, uh, expression mark, you know, and then they inject into the muscles and that's going to relax or you know, the science is the real fact it paralyzes the muscle temporary, okay? And also they can do the lines, the vertical lines, uh, the horizontal, horizontal lines also in your forehead, okay? And a little bit around uh, the, the eyes, which they call crossfit all right so when you smile you can see a little lines with when as you aging so they can also doctors and nurses can also inject botox around to paralyze relax the muscles around the eyes okay so those are are the areas the 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 botox they inject the botox sometimes some doctors they also like to inject a little bit in other areas of the face um to paralyze if you have like a little bit more like a sagginess or, or something on your chin area around the chin they also like to correct a little bit the symmetry of your face with Botox okay so sometimes some people have you know we all a human being is asymmetrical guys one side is not the same as the other so we all are asymmetrical so doctor use fillers today and, and Botox to help to improve the symmetry of your face. Now, what about fillers? Fillers, dermal fillers, are made of um, of calcium, of collagen. Usually, the lab, the laboratory, make the dermal fillers um, from a substance of your body that FDA approved that your body doesn't reject and helps you fill the areas that, as you age, you start losing volume. All right, like you start losing collagen and water, and then uh, your skin becomes a little bit more, um, your face becomes, you know, a little bit saggy, and start to lose volume around the lips, 
the nasal labial area, which is the lines, um, you know, around um, around the nose and lips. So dermal fillers is good to improve the appearance and to fill the those areas that start losing volume as you age, okay? So they have a lot of different fillers out there. They have fillers, uh, Restylane, and they have Restylane Plus, which is a little bit more concentrate and is gonna be less longer than Restylane. So Labs always comes with something um, different. Always they improve and they do a lot of researches and studies to help anti-aging and it's great. And I really am very grateful that we have this available today to improve as you age, improve your appearance. And guys, you can have a face lift with that because when it start losing volume around, you know, it start looking older, right? So dermal fillers is gonna fill the, the areas at the moment they start to, um, they, they inject into your face. So at the same moment, it starts seeing difference. But again, less is more, okay? Doctors uh, today, they make a lot of money, okay, with injectables, uh, Botox and fillers. So they make money per unit, okay? And uh, so it's like a real retail product. So you're buying the unit. So the most they sell to you and they apply on your face, you know, more money they make. But guess what? It can start losing your your uniqueness and it can become a character. You have to be careful, okay? Very important to be careful. Thanks for watching. So if you like my videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Carolina Pellegrini. Follow me on Instagram, Ana Carol underscore Brazil. On my Facebook like page, Carolina Pellegrini. And, um, and I will see you soon.